Sometimes it's really difficult for celebrities to diss politicians once they have to face them. But Eric Stone Street, who is a straight actor who plays a gay man on Modern Family, decided that he's not in favor of Rick Santorum and he will diss him right to his face. Now, while he was on HuffPost Live, he was talking about how he likes to go to the White House Correspondents' Dinner to see how politicians act and what they're really like. And while he was there, Rick Santorum actually wanted to take a photo with him. And here's what Stone Street had to say. He said, Rick Santorum wanted a picture with me. It was at a time when he was publicly saying gay marriage, gay marriage is wrong. And I'm like, you know, I can't do it. I was with him and his kids or something like that. And I said, I'd be happy to take a picture with the kids, but I just can't be in a picture with Santorum. Gina, what do you think about this? Make a point. I think that's so great. And that's the thing. It's like, as an actor, I think people are expected to be malleable. They're expected to be agreeable. And he wasn't being like a, you know, he wasn't throwing a talent fit. He was probably protecting his brand because he plays a gay character and the gay community would probably not be excited about that. And I would think as a person, if that went against his beliefs, it also happens to go against mine, he wouldn't be a part of that. Yeah, absolutely. Aaron, make your point. Uh, well, I'm just going to repeat Gina's entire sentence's phrasing. Um, sh yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's so great because celebrities I always feel like are constantly compromising their ideals and he's just like no Rick Santorum is a face of evil I think we all can agree and uh, one of the faces <laughs> and uh, you know I'm not gonna just just cuz I'm famous I'm not gonna take a picture with you and quite frankly I don't think he should have even taken a picture with the kids because the kids are now evil juniors mm. Mm. in my opinion. Yeah, I, I actually think that it's it's very telling that Santorum wanted to take a picture because yeah. he's somehow able to compartmentalize mm -hmm. certain things and also I love that Stone Street did this because a lot of politicians, even though they get criticized on the internet, they're insulated from a lot of things. They live in a bubble. So to have someone reject him to his face means the world to me. So Stone Street is awesome. I love the way that this all went down. The question for this story is, have you ever been rejected or have you ever rejected someone? Gina, I'll start with you. Well, if we're just talking about the internet and Twitter, I think I deal with this on a daily basis. I always say if, if you cut out all of the death threats against me and all the marriage proposals for me, there'd be nothing to talk about. <laughs> so people who are like, oh, you're so great, can we go on a date? I usually just pull from The Simpsons and go, oh, you, and that's it. But if they hate me, like they're rejecting me and they're strangers. And, and uh, Dave Rubin said this, and I agree, I don't fight with an egg, mm -hmm. like the little anonymous on, on Twitter. And I thought that was so great. And I try not to take it personally, but. Yeah, nobody wants to be rejected. That sucks. Yeah, people send you death threats. I feel like the internet is like enamored by you. I love that. Let's let's keep me insulated like Rick Santorum. Yeah. I mean, rape fantasies and death threats. It's like a it's a horrible, horrible Jeez. world. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> just Monday. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, I've been on both sides of it. Doesn't feel uh, great, you know, either way. Uh, I think, I think the one point that just angers me the most is I do stand up, and I'm working a lot of clubs across the country, and uh, there's been a couple rejection from club owners that are females, mm. uh, and that gets me volatile because there's, you know, it feels like the 1950s for women in comedy, and then you have an entire roster of like men throughout the year and maybe they book one or two women and I have more credits than if it's like a credit thing which it usually is than most of these dudes but women not supporting women is is one of my ultimate like pet peeves so yeah. that type of rejection like it's fine if you don't think I'm funny don't, I won't work your club that's fine but if it's like a female yeah I'm just like oh that, yeah. that kills me. And just to buttress off your point, instead of answering the question, I'm going to do that. Um, I think you make a really great point because there are all these like different stereotypes that women have to face, right? Yeah. They're catty. They don't they don't work together or they don't work well together in a team. And you don't want to add to that fodder. Like you yeah. don't want to give people more to kind of push or reinforce that stereotype. So yeah, support each other. There's enough room for all types of exactly. people in any industry. And so that's a great answer. I love it. Um, so tell us what you guys think. Have you been rejected? Have you been the rejector? How did that all play out? We want to read your comments so we can address them at the end of the month in our video. And um, also, what do you make of this whole Rick Santorum story? Do you think you would react the same way? Share your comments in the section below, and we'll see you guys soon.